happy Sunday. Welcome, Error. Um, for some reason, your cat jams didn't work for me. I think my emotes are broken. That's okay. I know you were jamming. I know the jams that were being had. Um, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Um, I don't see a way to fix this. I have to fix it later. That timing, I know, right? That was good. I, I, it's like I planned it, but I didn't. I didn't really. That was just fate. Pure fate. Oh, now we, got, now we gotta pause the music. Um, when we last left off, <coughs> what had we done? Um, we did some side quest stuff for Rufus. Um, which we now have to take back to him. Um, we racked up new side quests in the new area. Um, so here's our place map. Um, we've still got some new places that we need to check out. But, uh, oh yeah, we dealt with a haunted doll house. A haunted house. A, a house full of haunted dolls. There we go. That would be the correct sentence. Um... So that was fun. Uh, and now we've ended up, where are we? The Mole Ross house. I don't remember what's at the Mole Ross house. I do remember this guy doesn't want to let us in. Um, so let's find out what he wants. How are you, Air? How's you? We did stuff and things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. The stuff and the things. Uh, best not tarry here, civilian, if you care for your safety. Before you lies a horror house. Excuse me, are you saying? You are a horror house? <laughs> Sir, you shouldn't need a surveyor's training to see that I am neither a horror nor a house. What's a horror house? A surveyor's term, forgive me. A horror house is like a haunted house, only real. Haunted houses are real? I was literally just at one with the dolls, my guy. In all my life, I've never surveyed one. Well, you'll just have to trust me on this one. What makes this a horror house? The house there belongs to a, fa a farming family, the Mole Ross clan. I should say belonged because they vanished. And I should also have said doesn't belong because that house belongs to the bank. <laughs> I speak of Jessup and Paddington National who have commissioned me to assess the value of the house for resale at auction. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Um. Do you know Oscaluna Bar Ar Oscaloosa Barnhill? Charles, welcome! Hello, hello! Oh shit, wasn't sure when stream was going to start because of daylight saving. God, I keep, I keep forgetting that that's a thing that happens. It doesn't happen to me, and I forget. What time is it for you guys? Is it now the stream is an hour earlier, or is the stream now an hour later? Broken Princess, hello! Hello, hello, how's it going? Hour later, okay, okay. Hmm. So that would mean I would need to bump it up. Yeah, no, it's just permanently an hour later. <laughs> Sorry. We're just gonna keep it the same for me and uh, just be an hour later for you guys. So I've been out for a while, just got a new job. Yay, hopefully this one isn't a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Congrats on the new job! Are you excited? When do you start? Um. Also, no need to feel sorry. Completely okay. Uh. Do you know Oscaloosa Barnhill? I don't believe I've surveyed her. Okay. Well, what's the problem with this house? I'd say the problem with this house began when a meteor from space smashed through the roof. I can see how that might be a problem. Sure. Three months later, the Mole Ross clan fled by night and, I presume, by car. They ran off with no regard for their mortgage. Can you imagine? So heartless to care so little for the bank's bottom line like that. Um, yeah. Uh, later makes it easier for me to come to stream, especially for weekdays. Cool, 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 cool. Easy peasy then. Streams are now an hour later. Uh, I will drop a reminder about that in Discord later. I work for a bridal shop. Just finished my first week. Nice, that sounds like a Whew, man, sometimes a stressful job. I imagine brides can get real crazy sometimes, you know? Just like, it's it's like pregnant women and then right underneath that it's, it's women getting married, I think. <laughs> but I hope it's fun. I hope that you don't have mean customers. Um, okay. 
Uh, I was thus sent to assess the value of the Moros property for the bank, and uh, only I'm spooked. What do you think happened to the Moros family? That is not for me to survey, but between you, me, and this Theodolite, something strange must have transpired. This was a highly profitable farm. Okay. Uh, what's stopping you from surveying the house? He shudders. Listen. I entered the surveyor's seminary to avoid the horrors of war, and here they are right on my doorstep. Which is that little doorstep. I surveyed every state of this great land, and never have I ever seen... Never mind. I, I just... I'm making shit up. I can't read today. Not really we're by appointment. It's more happy emotional. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I like that. Uh, never have I seen things so frightening and mixed up as the admiral abnormalities in that house. I can make no sense of it. What abnormalities? Just, you know, mixed up things. Can you be more specific? No, I don't know how to describe it. Why don't I take a look? I don't think you have the eyes of a surveyor. No, but on the other hand, I'm not too scared to go in the house. Guess it wouldn't do any harm to me. Here's what I'll do. I'll give you the house key, and if, somehow, you can fix whatever is going on for me uh, to carry out my work, you can have 10% of whatever my valuation happens to be. Fair? How much are we talking about? What do you mean? How much is the house worth? Why? Don't tell me you... Don't tell me how much you think a house is worth. Why don't you tell me how much you think the house is worth, and we'll go from there. Jesus. <laughs> Read, right? It's not happening. Uh, 500,000 meat? Probably 50,000 meat. This is like 1920s type, so 50,000 meat. <laughs> Dear Lord, man, never pay 50,000 anything for a house. No, if I'm right, house is worth 5,000 meat, which would be a fee of 500 for you. What do you say? Sure. Cool. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, this is like what's happening in the well. Mail Ross. In the top drawer you find a large stack of orders for Mole Ross produce, impaled on a spike, and a collection of handwritten letters inquiring if the house is for sale, also impaled on a spike. Okay. A note from Nabby Mole Ross to order more spikes for the mail. Okay. Whoa! I got wiggled in. I didn't even get a chance. Colossal cabbages gross grotesquely giant garlic and an enormous egg this house is wild oh well these wormholes have made a real dog's dinner of the dog's dinner a pot that a pig's in wow this this house is a trip what the hell is going on hello pig in the pot hello pot pig oh he snarfed are you a big pup or a little pig <laughs> he just snarfs. So uh, make our way to the front of the house. Sorry, got tossed out, my guy. Um, I wanted to see like what this thing was here. Not supposed to cry over spilled oh milk. Something something. Okay, let's try this this portal. Oh. In the dining room? Telegraph machine upside down. Could be an Australian model. Check for messages. Amon, do not abandon house. Stop. Stay on the property. Ladder, stop. This decrepit order from your papa, stop. A.K.A. the main mole Ross. I always forget that with telegrams you don't want to read the stops. Okay, so Amon, do not abandon house. Stay on property. Ladder. This decrepit order. Direct order, Jesus. Direct order from your papa. A.K.A. the main mole Ross. Come to town. Welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me? Has to poop me out again? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go in the living room. Find furniture. Ooh, chess. Each of us is but a chess piece on a board, if you think about it. Yes. Which one are you? The chess board itself. Ooh, deep. King, queen, horsey, little shrimp. Thick roamer, tall and pointy? I don't think they play the same chess we do. It's a pot belly pig. It's a pig in a pot. Oh, pot, pot, belly, ha, 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 oh, I get it. 
Stupid. Um, I'd be the tall and pointy, probably. I'm the tall and pointy. The game nears, nears its end, and the fate of the tall and pointy is yet to be written. Uh, that's an ear of corn. A full corn man must be enormous. Oh my god. Just bad puns. Oh, we're back in this room again. Okay. What's the fridge got? A jug? A gallon jug of bitters. Oh, that goes to our speakeasy. Nice. Oh! Oh! Huh. So, can't really go through this portal. Because it's just always gonna <laughs> poop me back out here. Interesting. Let's try the sink. I, I don't think we. Oh, no. That was the pig one. Damn it. Oh, hey. A fence we can paint. Look at that. Much better. Okay. I wonder if we need to go down to the well. Let me get sucked into this one. Oh, that's just back out to the hallway. Okay. That must be the one we're popping out of. Okay, what about the door? This is just dining room. Okay. This will just drop me outside. Let me try the one in the well. Oh yeah, we need to get past the hole. That's right. Okay. What can we get? Hmm. I think Tall and Pointy is the bishop, Thick Roamer is the rooker castle, and Little Shrimp is the pawn. Oh, Little Shrimp would be the pawn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I always liked the bishop the best, so I figured Tall and Pointy was the bishop. Um, I completely forgot the, the rook existed, though. He would be Thick Roamer. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to, like, close some of these portals. <laughs> the house is, uh, is Swiss cheese with wormholes. I think I don't think you're 100% correct on your observation. To my eye, the holes couldn't have been made by a worm. Oh, buddy. What do you think happened to him? Oh. No, we already asked that question, I guess. Hmm. Well, unless I can find something that covers the gap. I can't, like, sneak past. I'm pretty sure I've tried all, all the permutations of things. I could try to sneak past. Nope. <laughs> Did my best. Do you have a crowbar? Uh, I think so. Let's see. Yeah. Sure do. Maybe he will accept the name Einstein Rosenbridge if he doesn't like wormhole. I I would take that that name over wormhole. I don't know who the actual Einstein Rosenbridge is, but I'm assuming he does something with wormholes. <laughs> There's nothing really else that I can interact with. Oh, I was trying to get to the bookcase. I don't know why she won't follow me places anymore. <laughs> well. Air, unless you know something I don't. I think I think we're kinda done here for the minute.
Maybe we can go steal more materials from the Pukwudgie village. Just uh, take a whole building to place over the hole. Man, this cartoon burger looks great right now. Not gonna lie. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, you know what we could do? I mean, there's a guide for the house. Let's Google it. Let's Google this guide. Probably just overthinking something. Uh, end of the house, go into the smaller wormhole on the wall. Okay, all right. Here, go into the house. I did. It was me here. Um, smaller wormhole on the wall. You mean the door? Head into the bigger one that leads into the dining room. Go over to the lamp. Oh, and switch it off. Oops. Man, they really they really suck you in fast. Oh. I can put them to sleep. Oh shit. God damn it. Okay. That was the, the clue that I needed here. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen Einstein's name in full as Einstein Rosenbridge. I did not. That's never mind. I know who Einstein is. Oh, my God. It got me again. It wasn't even there. Cheaty. All right. Hold on. No. Damn it. It's not taking me. Oh. I'm actually supposed to get sucked into this. Oh, Einstein and Rosen. I see. Two different people. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it together. God damn it. It's supposed to, and I saw it for a split second earlier. Oh, there it is. Break the light. Oh, yeah. Did I whiff? Maybe I gotta wait for it to be untwisty. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Now there's rocks in here. Uh -huh. Throw a rock. There it went. Nice. Oh, wait. There's a backpack over here. Uh, inside is a straw doll ballooned to enormous proportions. Uh, it's too large to extract from the knapsack? All right. Memo on the paper. Someone has written the name of a telephone number in a local dog pound, but someone else has crossed out the last part and just put dad pound. Uh, the dog pound, I guess. The receiver falls apart in your hand. Oh, well, no dog pound for us. No dad pound either. Is this a picture? What is this a picture of? A haystack? This must be the meteorite, the source of the wormhole trouble. Best not to get too close. 
If you don't have time to get caught in an infinite loop of falling between two wormholes, grab it. The sure suction generated by the perpetual wormhole loop would rip your hands off in a second. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't? I'm strong. Oh, no! Fuck. You're right. Your hand was not literally ripped off, just maimed. It's fine. Consider it a moral victory. Although, you still don't have the meteorite. Throw a rock at it. Well. Oh, yeah. You grab the music box and suddenly it stops playing. Spooky. Uh-oh. Spooky. Hey, slowly welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you for the resub. Happy 40 months. Just in time for a wormhole. You are. You are indeed in time for the wormhole. Welcome back to the superheroes. Thank you for that resub. How goes it? You find some spare meat and what appears to be an unfinished letter to a men's magazine. What do we got? Dear editors, I write to inquire that what advice you possess on maintaining a healthy marriage when the dog is too big. Our dog is becoming larger by the day, which may re require us to relinquish the marital bedroom so that the hound might have a home appropriate to its size. What the fuck? How big is this dog? My wife considers this suggestion very strange and bat ends there. Hmm. Whoop! Nope! Don't suck me in. Um. Let's untie it. Oh, we got a right length of rope. Okay. Now, what contraband could a farm boy have be hidden in the most secret place of the armoire? <coughs> uh, the farm boy to whom. <coughs> Sorry. The armor belongs was has used the top drawer to stash his most shameful possessions. Magazines on urban planning. Magazines make for fascinating reading. Uh, you'll never look at plan a city the same way again. Nah. Nah, this bitch is coming with me. We're done with the creepies. Hmm. Grab it. Aw. Double jump. Eight muscle, seven moxie, six mysticality. Damn, the ladder's too high to jump. Perhaps if you double jumped, but no. No, no. It's never been done. It can't be done. Okay. Eight muscle, seven moxie, six mysticality. Eight muscle. When did I put a flowing skirt on? <laughs> Eight muscle. Let's find some muscle pants. Hmm, Gator Man pants. Oh, you know what we could just do? Muscle. There we go. What's Creepy Macaroni doing for us? Nothing in that department. So, we should probably go for that. Purple Pukwaji hat. What? What did it have to be? Eight, seven, six. Oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna double jump, boys. Are you ready for this? <coughs> Whoop. Oh. We just... All we did was jump twice in a row. That was cheap. That was so lame. Terrific. The vibrations caused by your your double landing have loosened the ladder from its restraints. Stupid. Stupid. Wow. Mole Ross left in such a hurry they forgot their large collection of attic plates. Oh, not the attic plates. <laughs> Air, thank you for the sound biddies. Thank you for the Owen Wilson biddies. Wow. Uh, a note has been directly above the crate, bringing it to the attention of anyone using the crate. Gardener, after your choice today, lock the bathroom door and melt down the key in the kitchen. It is unconscionable to me that any man but the but a mole rouse should call this glorious house his home yellow newspapers tell the story of the mole rouse family three months ago a meteorite struck this farmhouse and at which resided amon and nabby mole rouse and their sons gardener little hannas and the family dog cliff clifford that's why he's so big fucking clifford the Mole Ross business greatly prospered immediately following this episode. Hmm. 
Oop. Oop. Hmm. Well, that was quite the adventure. <laughs> Look for the key in the door. The key is not in the door, but at least you, for now you're certain the investigation continues. I could use my curse key, but I know for a fact that this key is in the kitchen, which I don't remember how to get to. Oh, that's the bathroom. Shit. You got negative energy covered? Just get me drinking during an election? Oh boy. Turn into a negative Nancy. Oh fuck, this one goes outside. I think it's the one in the middle of the living room. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, they melted it down. <laughs> pig in a pot. You got a key in that pot? Got a key in that pot, pig? Cast your flashlight around the contours of the stuck pig. You spy something shiny in the obscured depths of the cast iron pot. Maybe the key? I would ride the pig. What's it going to take? It's going to take 50. Nice. Pig grunts once, apparently in satisfaction, and rescues the key from the bottom of the pot with his curly little tail. The transaction complete, the pot shifts onto his forelegs and scuttles into the cornfields with the iron pot still stuck on his rear end like a hermit crab. Okay. Sure, pig. Pig would have taken one meat. That's okay. I've got enough meat. The pig can have 50 for his newfound adventure. It's fine. Um. Okay. We finally made it into here. Um, so we don't want that door. This is far from where a couch should be. I like how the furniture has just gotten tossed about in these portals. Oh, and that one just goes outside. Well, shit. I feel silly in this little hat. I'm going to take off the little hat. I just, I look so stupid. Um, hats. Where's my macaroni? Yeah, my creepy macaroni. That one just pops out there. So that's not anything really. What's this one do? Oh, okay, this is new. The bookcase contains one copy of Marcus Aurelius and 39 more copies of Marcus Aurelius. Oh. You're surprised the bookcase hasn't been per pulled into the wormhole next to it. Where would it end up? Can I just push it? Can we fuck around and find out? From the desk of little Hanas, if you are the outer spaceman who blessed this family with your meteorite present, please know that we did not abandon it lightly. We will be forever grateful for the gift of your abundance, good spaceman. But also, our crops have grown, so too has our dog, Clifford. He is too large even for the house, and so we decided as a family to find a new, bigger home. I hope you understand. I also hope you could send a letter for me that I did not have the time to take to the post office. I've left it in my pillow. Thank you, Spaceman. Best wishes, little Hannes. Yeah, but is he read, though? I wonder if we could go find Clifford. Mulras letter. Lucky... There's only one pillow to search or you'd be here all day. All right, do we go down or do we go over? I'm gonna go down. Oh, nice. We're on the other side of the well. Uh-huh. Can we make it to the toilet? Oh yeah, I flushed it. What? If you ever wanted to see what, it, uh, what you look like with the tip of a stalagmite on your chin, this is the chance? Why is there stalagmite in the toilet? Oh, this is back in there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go in this side swirly. Woo! Oh, nope. Woo! Mm-hmm. So that one just led 
to this one. Which just leads back here. Okay. Hmm. Shoot it with a gun. The rock is now in there too. I think I whiffed. Grab the rock. Okay, but do it though. The sheer suction generated by the perpetual loop, uh, wormhole loop has already seared your hand once. You don't need another rock. Okay, but do it though. <laughs> but do it anyway. Someone should do a gritty HBO show based on Clifford. One guess as to why he's red. Is it from the, the blood of his enemies that he's consuming? With his unsatiable appetite as a mountainous dog, probably? Okay, I think we've seen everything. I don't know how to get the meteorite. Okay, hold on. Untie the rope from the dresser, go outside, bribe the key out of the pig. Uh, go back inside, upstairs, locked door. Oh, okay, we can push that book gets the prize I get the prize it's from the blood of his enemies oh we need eight muscle okay um muscle purple puck wedgie hat it is god I just feel so stupid whoop bye I don't know if I'm supposed to follow it but I am Ah, bookcase is blocking the light. Oh, yeah. Place. Nice. We got it. And now, the portal shall be gone. Uh, I still tripped. Wait, no, what oddity? Shit. No, what oddity? It didn't stay long enough. Certainly a strange choice. Oh, that's all I get? Okay. Oh, there's like a whole hallway now? God, where the fuck am I? Get me out of this house. Now it's all different from the way it was. What? A closet? What a strange choice to put this uh, bathroom on the ground floor. Shouldn't it be next to the primary bedroom? Strange indeed. Yeah, through a closet? Alright. I fixed it for you, buddy. Um, you know, it's not really horrible in there, just a little disorganized. But disorganization has bore some of the world's greatest horrors. Werewolves, for instance. Werewolves? Can you explain yourself on that one? Exactly. Werewolves. If they were organized, we would know where the wolves were and have no reason to fear them. Do you see my point? Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, found your problem. In seminary, we don't believe in problems, only opportunities, but go on. Eric, thank you for gifting a sub to prize. For some reason, I'm not getting sound alerts again. Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to pay close attention to the chat so I don't miss them. But thank you for gifting a sub to prize. Prize, welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. Mirror's Superheroes, rather. Uh, I hope you enjoy your time here. Hello, hello. If you're in chat, you can thank Eric with your new emotes. Eric, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh... It was, uh, I have the meteorite, the wormholes are gone. Joyous news, but the real work can, now the real work can begin. If you can spare the time, I'll be back in a moment with my, a mere moment with my valuation. Uh, I can already tell you that the layout of the house is very bad. Really, do you think so? Let me be the judge of that. I think I know a little something about surveying. Okay, I'll wait. The sound of surveying fills the air. Uh, I believe it sounds like a werp, a ski, and a herf. And then? <laughs> My goodness, you're right about it being a horror house. But not in the way I first thought. The kitchen on the upper floor with a dining room downstairs sandwiched between a bedroom and a bedroom? The living room adjacent to the primary bedroom and both connected by a narrow hallway that requires you to pass through a bathroom? Sir, this aesthetic is the most is of the most extreme disorder. The house is rotten at its core. I would have valued it at 2,000 meat, but the telephone is inoperable. So let's, oh, <laughs> I broke the telephone. 
Let's knock that down to 1990, which means 199 meat for you per our deal. I, I didn't break the telephone. <laughs> you know, the layout's actually better with the wormholes. The living room is off the foyer, not upstairs. You're right. I remember that from my initial inspection. Uh. Hmm. Look, with a sensible layout, the house could easily go for 5,000 meat. I think buyers will put up with the nauseating holes in the fabric of reality, but not having to walk through a bedroom to their dining room. Hmm. Couldn't even be in the same room as those wormholes. Uh, I don't live in the house, I just survey them. Fair point, fair point. Um... I don't know what the meteorite does. Shit. I don't really need the money. I might want the meteorite. I don't... What does it do? Okay, hold on. I'm going to Google it. Shadows. Over. Loathing. It... Grants a teleportation skill. When equipped, opens a wormhole above an enemy and under an anvil somewhere, dropping twice your mysticality and physical damage. Ooh. In seminary, it's less of a house and more of a nest. All better to afford us the bird's eye view. <laughs> um, good, of course. I need the meteorite to restore the house to order. Need to think about it. Hold on. It's a wormhole. Twice your muscle. Oh, this is different than what the wiki says. Interesting. Twice my muscle in physical damage. Just to a single enemy, you think? Right now I'm using that one. Hmm. I probably wouldn't use it even if I kept it. Super don't need the money, though. Talk meat. Oh, Oskaloosa needs the meteorite? Oh. Well, never mind then. I'll go with the first offer. That's fine. Uh, that might be the most money any of us see out of this house. I think the bank will flip it into a quarry, but it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I hope uh, I'll survey you in the future. Survey you later. Survey you later, my guy. Okay. I didn't realize that we still needed the meteorite for a quest. I guess I do vaguely remember that being the ask. I think that was Oskaloosa was back at the feed store, right? No, these people just want a glass of milk. Aha, it's just, okay. Have you been to the Melross place yet? I don't need a whole meteorite, by the way. I'm no space hog, just asking for a little piece. I got the meteorite. Oskaloosa whistles. Humbling, ain't it, to hold soil of heaven in your hand. Now, you heard, heard me say I wasn't a space hog, and I stick by it. A little piece is all I need. Oskaloosa tears off a chunk of the meteorite with her, with her teeth? That made my teeth hurt. That made my teeth hurt so bad. Oh, God. And hands it back to you. Can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> Oskaloosa spits out a tooth. Never mind. I worked really hard with the dentist in the cornfield to get the perfect teeth. Thank you. I'm not... I'm not fucking them up, all right? Uh, Salsa, by the way, I reckon now there's not a jail on earth that can hold me. Do yourself a favor and figure out how it works. My way of saying thanks. Huh. Okay. Increase your mysticality by your muscle. Oh, interesting. Guess you're welcome. Oh, I never talked to her at all. Hey there, how's it going? Name's Farina. Hi, I'm Leroy. Nice goggles. Thanks. Uh, did you cop a gander at my sweet breezer out front? Cop a gander. 
the car? I was wondering who, why it was tied to a hitching post. A lot of horsepower in that baby. Gotta keep her under control. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Say, where does your pretty handy with problem solving kind of way? Think you could help me out with a little something? Well, uh, kind of something. See, my buggy's a real dynamo, but once you get, you taste that kind of power, you're always yearning for more. Am I right? You want something to make it faster? I don't know a whole lot about cars. No worries, I'm not looking for advice. I already got my peepers on a particular goal. There's an old Ford factory compound not far from here. Uh, before they shut down a while back, they was working on a new kind of engine. <laughs> One made of beans? Beans? As the day is long, uh, I wouldn't have believed it either, but I saw a test run of one of the prototypes. Man, it ran like lightning. Well, right up until it exploded anyway. Uh, where it is, they fixed that problem, though. Just had to switch uh, to a different kind of beans. Oh. And the final pre-production pre engine should still be in the factory. I just need someone to go snaffle for me. I'll snaffle for you. Great, I knew you was the right guy. Let me mark the place on the map for you. Beans? <laughs> I can't. Okay. As uh, far as I know, the factory has been abandoned for months, so ought to just be a lead pipe cinch. Just grab the engine and go. Why is the back door locked? Hmm? Well, why is the door usually locked? Is that a riddle? Because it's a jar? You ain't good at riddles, aren't you? Is that the riddle? <laughs> no, no helpful. Not helpful at all. Um, okay, he wants a fuck ton of fertilizer. That's right. I do recall that. Okay. So let's just go get the engine. Does it run on human beans? Ahaha. What the fuck is this? Just off the road, a little patch leads down to an old stone well. Here, at the top of the path, there's a sign that just says, don't. Next to it, there's another sign with a skull and crossbones. Next to that, there's a post with a hook on it and a rusty extinguisher hanging on that hook. That's a little unusual. The hellhole. We're going to the hellhole. The hellhole. What an adventure. Oh boy. Hot here. Smoke pours off this nest of very hot ants. Fence doesn't really accomplish anything. Caution, do not throw anything that starts with an H in this well. Hmm. Intriguing. The rock is boiling with unquenched rage. Oh, hey, let's fish. Let's fish in the hellhole. Liquid fire. Hmm, what does that do? Five hot damage to all enemies and sets them on fire for five. Nice. You're not gonna let the sign tell you what to do, are you? No. We're gonna throw something down the hole. A uh, handful. Ooh, hard candy, hot rod. Hmm. Haunted clam. You know what? We're gonna go with an icker. Fill the bucket with icker and lower it into the well. When you pull it back up, the icker has liquefied and gotten really hot. Also, somebody down there has apparently put in a little. Put it in a little bottle for you. Is there somebody in the bottom of the well? Do you have a ham hock to throw in the well? Oh, that would be good. That would be good. That's two H's. Oh. Huh. Well. That was fun. I, I don't want to sacrifice any more of my H's, so... Off we go. Oh! That's not great. What is happening? What's going on over here? Oh! Tumultuous bean storm is preventing you from accessing this bunkhouse. You should find somebody who knows more about beans than you and ask them how to deal with this. Rose and Rose of Soybeans. I always knew beans were evil. I always knew beans were evil. Oh my god, they're so angry. Look at these angry, angry beans. <laughs> Oh, 
think we really need to make anything right now. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, hey, a person. Yep, that's me. Please, you gotta let us out of here. We've trapped, been trapped for ages with nothing to eat but beans. Okay, where's the key? Actually, we welded the lock shut so the bean monsters couldn't get to us. You'll need a Jenkins head screwdriver to take the hinges off. What kind of screwdriver? Jenkins. It has a sort of X shape. One of our mechan mechanics invented it. He just got the patent this year. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, some guy in Oregon named Philip was super mad. <laughs> anyway, uh, there should be one in the bunkhouse. All right, I'll go look. Car smells unbelievably bad. Yeah, it runs on beans. All right, let's fight some beans. Look at them. Look at their little frowns. This guy is seen into the future, though. Oh, he's causing the lightning. Mm, bean noises. <coughs> wow. Wow, everybody going for Turt? Oh, no, Turt. Okay. Um, let's... Stab this guy. He seems dangerous. They go for the true threat first, aka turret? They do. They do. They know where to, where to put their shots. Oh! He exploded in a pile of beans. Oh, there went the spider. Save yourself, Turt. Oh, I got a force bean. A repulsive soybean has some sort of weird repulsive effect on nearby objects. Interesting. And then the first of a bean man will get you the best of a mean man. What? The first of a bean man will get you the best of a mean man. Cool. Excellent. Let's fight more beans. Oh, these are like non-corporeal beans. What's going on? Swarm of spectral soybeans. Physical armor 99. Weak against hot and weak against sleaze. Well, good thing I do a lot of that. Why is his health bar backwards? How much fun were these games to make? Oh, probably a fucking blast. I would love to just like sit in on the meetings where people talk about like the ideas. I actually don't know if it was made by a team or a single person now that I think about it. But I would pay to sit in on a team and uh, listen to them try to come up with the ideas for this. You see, what we're going to do here is we're going to have spectral beans, right? Like ghost beans. Yeah, it would have been a good time. Oh, they flew away. Wish I had enough time to make a game that was whatever I wanted. Right? Me too. What's this little plaque say? Black is for the factory's 1909 employee of the year. Hey, that's me. No, it wasn't. You were six years old. It was me. I worked here. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is gaslighting the narrator into thinking that we worked places and then we actually did work there. Uh, this must have been the floor manager's desk. Let's search it. All right, we got the key. Unlock it. You unlock the filing cabinet with a little key you found at the desk. Must have been the easiest puzzle in an, in an adventure game ever. Was. Oh, yeah. Chili, thank you for the resub. Happy 22 months. Another month? It's been 84 years. Actually, it's almost been two years. Incredible. Thank you, Drilly. Thank you for the resub. How's it going? Hello, hello. You flip through the folders. It looks like they're employee records. Yes. 
but each one has been sealed in its own envelope. They must take employee privacy really seriously around here. Nothing weird or interesting catches your eye. Look for my file. What do you mean your file? Look, you you never worked here. Sure I did. You did not stop that. Found it, Leroy Jenkins. See? Uh, oh, how the hell? How are you doing that? She's worked a lot of places. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is this is me. This is my plaque. Filing cabinet's not locked. You already uh, emptied it of the most baffling contents. Is that an actual bean man? Is this a... Oh my god, humanoid bean? I hate it. What the fuck? No thank you on that one. Oh! Oh, you made beans come out of me! They are evolving! Please god, no. Let's see. What do the bean men do? Pipers. Oh no, that's the spider. I was like, Piper stripes spider shooter. Uh, humanoid bean is going to cause me 12 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the lightning legume still. Well. Kind of sad our spider can't level up. He is now officially the weakest link. Oh. Uh oh. Good, good turret. Save yourself. Oh boy. Human beans? Bean there done that? Ah ha ha. Ah, I see what you did there. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just do this. This is bad. They just keep increasing their HP. All right, hold on. I think we're gonna have to go, go in harder here. What is a good? No, I need like a good AOE. Jesus, I can use five things. start chucking baseballs at people. Um. Oh. Sure. I'll plant a tentacle. Why not? We got a lot of that for some reason. Hmm. Let's make this man bleed. Has Turt ever been clutched though? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. I think I'll throw another baseball. I wonder if I could just buy baseballs. Okay, now I'm gonna stab this dude. Go, Tentacle, go! 
That's kind of unnerving, the way it wiggles. I don't particularly love that. Aw, thanks, Turt. I'm just gonna stab him. A human bean liver. Oh, God. What the fuck? On one hand, it's a human liver, so you shouldn't eat it. On the other hand, that human it came from didn't have an actual human brain, so is it really different than eating liver of someone who's slightly dumber than usual? What the fuck? Phase bean. This place is bizarre. And I don't I don't think I I don't think I like it. Nice. Extra pile this this is either a pile of petrified beans or a statue of a pile of beans. Okay. Let's take it. This is a souped up engine. Since it's the only engine like thing you've seen around here, it's a reasonable gamble that this is what Farina's looking for. Was it a human fava bean liver? It could have been. I I can't identify the beans as they're all bean shaped and black and white, so. Someone who knows and ask them how to deal with this. Okay, we gotta ask how to deal with the beans, I guess. Um. Happen to know how to deal with the wicked bean storm raging outside the bunkhouse? No, sorry. We've just been eating beans. We don't know anything about bean storms. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Nobody knows about the bean storm. I'm gonna go back to the feed store and take her the thing and see if uh, see if maybe she knows fun fact humans cannot digest dog liver it's too much iron and will kill you hmm what how how did we figure this out who's eating dogs okie doke broken princess have a good night or a good day see you next time so you can cook it up and have it with a nice gigante. No, no, no. That's the human liver. That's the human liver. Try dog liver. Yeah, put that one on the bucket list and maybe do it last. Um, the farmer outside the barn hands you a broom. Oh, you're fixing to stay yeah. under my roof. You'll work for the privilege. Stables need sweeping. Last time they were clean, the president was. Well, I ain't sure we had presents back then. Explain how you're not fixing the stand his roof, and he is yelling at you from a mile down the road. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I can't. I don't have the skills. Got it right here. Thanks, million kid. I can't wait to get this baby installed. Slowly, thank you for gifting a sub to Broken Princess. Broken Princess, you're now a member of the superheroes. Uh, I don't remember... Yeah, no, this is this is month two. So welcome back to the superheroes. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub barrel again. And uh, yeah, you, you'll probably find this out next time you come here. Slowly, thank you for gifting that sub. I appreciate it. Um, she walks over to the back room door and taps a complicated pattern with her knuckles. You hear someone inside unlocking it. Nice. Okay, well, that's not the the bean thing I needed, but. You enter a darkened back room, a man standing behind the desk, poring over a messy array of books and maps. He looks up and glares is at you as you enter. Who the devil are you? Uh, hi, I'm Leroy Jenkins. Okay, but the implied second half of the question was, what the hell are you doing in my office? I don't actually know, but the people outside let me in. Hmm. Well, if they vetted you, you must be okay. Name's Jasper. You signed in to help, on, help with our mission? What mission is that? We're blowing off Hellstorm's oil refinery. That's what. Oh, wow. Mm. A cat. Did that say AARP really big? It sure did. Jasper's cat. Abby Abby. Why did you name her twice? Because I don't let society tell me what to do. Okay. Oh, she doesn't love me. Sort through the titles until you find an appropriate sort of anarchy for your abilities. You figured he'd want you to steal it. Anarchy through spirituality. Nice. 
He did. He did want me to steal it. Oh, gather cheese chi. Very good. Uh, you add a hundred mantras to what ironically you refer to as your arsenal of peace. Unfortunately, the last mantra you memorized apparently took up the mind space you were using to keep track of the book and you misplaced it. Ah, oh, bummer. I don't know that I want to blow up a factory just yet. What does AARP stand for? Association of Arca Arcan Anarchists, Jesus, Rebels, and Pirates. Okay. Actually, I, w I want, yeah, I want some of like this type of shit. Damn, that was all we could do. I just need more like AOE bomb type stuff. Who are you and how'd you get here? I'm the locksmith <laughs> and I'm the locksmith. There you go. Thought dog liver was like bear seal and walrus liver, which contain high amounts of vitamin A, uh, which is toxic. I didn't know there was a bunch of iron in there too. Man, uh, maybe the moral of the story is just don't fucking eat liver, which I'm absolutely okay with. You didn't catch anything, but Malaria learned new tricks from the locals. Malaria Mosquito Game is plus five damage, plus five to damage and healing. Oh, nice. I leveled up the mosquito pet I didn't remember I was carrying. Um, let's head to this orchard. I don't remember what we're supposed to get there, but. You hear a deep moo sound that reverberates in your guts all the way down to the colon end. Oh, wow. Slowly you turn around, the field was empty before. It now contains an entire herd of black wounds in space, each one of them in the shape of a cow, and in the middle, a shadow cowbell hangs silently on a post. That's really fucking ominous. We gotta take that bell out. Oh, Jesus. Turt, please. I gotta give him more targets here. Um. Okay, everybody's at least a little bit on fire. Um. What the fuck? I can only hit for five? This sucks. Oh no, he's hot! What happened to my stats? What happened to my stats? Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> Thanks, Aaron, for the sound videos. Ugh. Got a lot of hot cows. Man, these cows are, are not fucking around. I am in trouble. Is that what it is? Does it, does it have like crazy armor? Spooky armor. Cannot take more than five physical damage at a time. Fuck. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, they're all like that. Oh. Oh shit. Might as well just keep pitching baseballs at the bell. We gotta go find more baseballs. Maybe we should go shopping. I guess I'll use the bomb I just made. All right. That's probably about the best I can do here.
Um. You know what? Yeah, punch the punch the spider. Get him out of here. Good job, cheese boy. Why me? Attack somebody else. It's not looking great for me. Nice. Poison will do him in. <laughs> you, ever, you guys ever go cow punching? Uh, frog legs taste like chicken? Thought the only place where trichinosis was prevalent was in bear meat. Oh man. Trichinosis and mercury. Main reason I refuse to eat gator even if it does taste like chicken. Bear, also boar, and other game reptiles usually don't get it. Uh, but if the mercury in them is high enough, they can. Interesting. No, not cow tipping, cow punching. Different, different activity. Thank God. Oh boy, oh boy, oh. I don't want to be here. What the fuck? Let's avoid a leaf pun and just head out. Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just leave, please. A fretful looking young lady sits behind the fruit stand. Hi, I'm Maggie. Maggie, welcome to Grode Valley Orchard, I guess. Hi, I'm Leroy. Um, you seem to have kind of a worm problem. Yeah, I'm pretty conflicted about it. On one hand, I'm an anti-capitalist. On the other hand, these worms are really bad for business. Yeah, that's a tough one. Do you have any spare fertilizer? Uh, what do you need fertilizer for? Well, it's not for me. It's for a guy I know. You don't have to be cagey about it. It's just fertilizer. It's not drugs or pornography or anything. What? No, seriously, it's for someone else. Uh-huh. Well, I do have plenty. I could give you some in exchange for helping out with these worms. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Done. I'd much rather leave a cow a $10 tip than punch it, but that's just me, I guess. You would you would tip a cow 10 bucks? For what? For doing nothing? Great, I'll unlock the basement. The worms tunneled into it. You should be able to follow the tunnel to their nest. Oh, God. Your produce stand has a basement? It doesn't even have a roof. The guy who built it was really into basements. Roofs, not so much. I didn't have the heart to insist. Okay, I see. Where is it? Uh, behind this pile of cinder blocks. Help me move them out of the way, and you can use it. All right. There you go. By the way, watch out for Maraschino down there. Who's Maraschino? Our cat. Oh, no. Our last line of defense against the worms. Well, she's also kind of our first line. Not very effective. It's hard to explain community label practices of cats. Okay. Wait. Oh, God. Oh. I don't know why, but I hate this a lot. Uh oh. Why do you gotta be so spooky? You pick all the cherries, but immediately you dissolve into spooky mist. Ah! I'm actually scared you collect the mist. There's no way that hippie that house contains anything of use to a non-hippie. Okay, fine. Uh before we do this, I'm actually just going to go shopping. We haven't bought anything in a while. Should we go to the potion seller? She might be able to help us out. Do, 
This is uh actually probably what we've needed to do for a while. Oh yeah. And props, welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you for the resub. Hopefully you guys can hear the alerts. Happy 38 months. You want to freak out? You you doing okay? Um I don't think I need any of those. They're loud. Oh, oh no. I can turn it down a little bit. Sure wish I could hear them. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know why I have to keep resetting it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, you know what we can also do? We can go just have a, a minute <laughs> advanced pants. I don't know why. I don't think I took note of the name last time. We already bought all the pants we could. Um, we can go chill at the speakeasy for a bit. Oh, how nice. Found some bitters for you, Fancy Dan. Bitters. How sweet it is, baby. No, it's, it's bitter. It's bitter, Fancy Dan. I don't want to drink because I think I already have a drink active. Wish I had dance moves. All I have is silly walks. Oh shit! Aw, oh, never mind, I already read it. You guys enjoying your dancing? It's good shit. Man, I still think Spoon's guy is top notch. Um, now that we've done that, I feel more comfortable Comfortable going- no, not the big moist, damn it. Going back to Great Country. And the Wormpalooza. Oh nice, look at you go, Molly. Uh, I hate this place nearly as bad as the swamp. Uh, it's pretty desolate, but it seems like it used to be nice. Nothing ever happens here. There's nothing- for it to happen to or with just corn and wheat and pigs. I don't shoot the piggies. I ain't gonna shoot the piggies. What do you take me for? I got a mind to pop some corn though. Was this whole conversation just for that pun? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's go fight worms. This is literally the last thing I had to do, had on my to-do list. Bunch of bags of fertilizer are more than anybody could use in a lifetime, assuming you need a bag for every four or five years. Nice. You heave a massive bag over your shoulder and eff effortlessly stuff it into your pocket. Technically, you aren't entitled to this until after you finish dealing with the worms, but uh, I guess I can't stop you any more than Maggie can. That's right, nobody can stop me. I'll deal with the worms. I I'm a man of my word. Worm gear. It's missing a part. What the fuck is worm gear? Ew. Oh no. Se worm secretions? Ugh. Oh god. I shouldn't have touched it. I need to go wash my hands. Where can I wash my hands? Somebody has to have a fucking sink. This is, no, I'm not running around with nasty worm hands. Um.
somehow I managed to make it all the way to the attic. It's not my intention. Where the fuck is the bathroom? I'm pretty sure this house has a bathroom. This is the dumbest tangent I've ever taken, but I just... It's so gross. Oh wait, there was a sink. Well, okay, I'll fish in the sink, that's fine. Sink, toilet if you're desperate, absolutely. Well, I got a handful of clean water, but <laughs> I need it on my hands. Well. It's a bathroom down here. Yes. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, we fixed our hand injury too. Nice. What a perk. I did, I did find a working one. I knew there was one. I love that the hand injury washes off too. That's not how your injuries work. You don't just wash your hands and suddenly you're better. God, I wish that's how it would work. I burnt myself again yesterday in the kitchen and uh, uh, I definitely wish I could just wash it off. Oh, this looks interesting. The dirt road, dirt back road you've been following branches off to an even dirtier, backier road. <laughs> the old wooden turn marker reads, yeah, you know, I'm not even going to try that. Bad mirror, I know, right? Actually, the fact that uh, the fact that I burned myself uh, was actually okay. Maybe not that instance, but the fact that I burn myself so often in general is kind of a godsend. Boggs burned his hand for the first time in a long time, and he was like, "Oh my god, it hurts so bad! Like, what am I gonna do?" And I was like, "Here's what you're gonna do: you're gonna grab one of those ice packs from the freezer. You're gonna hold on to it all day." Then, when it finally starts to feel okay when you take your hand off of it, you're gonna cover it in this aloe gel that I have, and then you're, you're just gonna keep it smothered in that, and then it will feel okay by tomorrow. And he did that, and he's like, wow, like, my burn feels fantastic. Like, it's barely even a burn anymore. I was like, I know, I know. I've been through this so many times, I, I know the process. I am the burn doctor. Expert burn victim over here, yes. <laughs> Which is, you know, not the best title to have, maybe, but, um, I'll take it. Um, you shade your eyes with your hand in the way people do trying to see something far, far in the distance. Like, they're pretending they have invisible binoculars or something. You can kind of make out a low pile of rubble that might be completely a uh, completely destroyed house? Question mark? And behind it, some kind of shed or something. I might visit it. But I gotta take on worms first. While I was sick, I was opening a bag and putting a knife back in the sheath and I missed putting it in and stabbed the middle of my palm. Oof. Owie. Ooh. Yeah, that one hurts. I am not, uh, I am not a doctor of stabbings. Only burns. I don't know why me and burns, man. I just, this, this most recent burn was just literally, I left... <laughs> I left a whisk in the pan, like I was making a thing, left the whisk in the pan, turned around for like two seconds, came back and grabbed it, and the end of the whisk was hot. Like it had like a metal end, and the heat from the burner had heated up the whisk and just f f fucked my knuckle up. Or not my knuckle, the, well, yeah, I guess it's a knuckle, the first knuckle, like the, at the very tip of your finger, whatever fucked it up. <laughs> I have a similar story about chopping an avocado. Sounds about right. It knuckled your fuckle up. It did. It did. Yes. Metal has a low specific heat capacity, so it makes sense. Yeah, I just... It was like two seconds. I was trimming Nernies? Off an ancient fertility idol and slipped an exacto into my hand front up. Th that sentence, that sentence was an adventure. First of all, why do you have an ancient fertility idol? Second of all, what the fuck is a nerny? 
Also, I'm sorry about your hand. Aw, <laughs> oh, Maraschino. <coughs> Maraschino sniff your hand, sniffs your hand, bumps her face against it, and purrs. Looks like your smell has been approved. Let's see. Plus three stench armor. You know what? I will take it because we probably need it for this fucking place. Maraschino, you should really get the fuck out of here. Spoken like a true prop master. <laughs> If you didn't know that about you, it'd be so cryptic. It was as much an adventure for you, for me, as it sounded for you. Incredible. You know what I do, you know the answer. True, very true. I once tried to pull a, bill, a drill bit from a drill by the scribe part. Ooh. It spiral sliced my thumb and finger. Ooh, Owie! I don't enjoy that one. All right, let's do it. Let's get through this tunnel. There they are. The dirty, dirty wormies. Deploy secretions? What does that do? Oh. They just, they just fucked off. Okay. No! God damn it! Now I have to go wash my hands again. Fine, I'll wash them after I'm done here. Let's fight them. I want to fight some worms. I want to see what they're about. Though I was bonding with a barista over hand injuries and said that and gave no other context, so yeah, that, that sounded weird to her. It's fine. She doesn't need to know. It's fine. 46 for these worms? Fuck me. Fuck me! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. God, the enemies in this area are, uh, they don't fuck around. Little worms, uh, they're okay. I like that we have to shake it first. Wait, can I still use... Oh man, I can still use more items? Damn. Um, you know what? Please heal me. Thank you. I don't know that we want to fight these guys. Holy shit. I should have gone for the big worm. Ooh, regretting my choices. Oh, people need to stop. Well, like, you've never been hurt before, Err. Uh, on a road trip, we stopped at a roadside stand and got a thick chunk of chocolate. And I was trying to cut off a piece and it wouldn't cut. I put the tip of the blade uh, in the chocolate and we hit a bump. Oh, no. I drove it, the knife three inches into my thigh. Uh, that sucks. That's a big oopsie. Uh, I knew a guy in college that uh, was trying to cut open a zip tie and cut the like the top knuckle again, the top knuckle, like the top portion of his finger off entirely in the middle of our, our college dorm. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. I was like walking down the dorm hallway and there was just blood everywhere and I was like what the fuck happened like who died what's going on it wasn't until like a week later that I actually heard what happened to this guy I I guess I'll fight him I don't want to 
They're mean. Oh, I didn't realize that caused bleeding to everybody. Holy shit, I would have been using that way sooner. Well, shit. Kind of like having a cheese servant. Injured in general, yeah, but I haven't injured myself by my own hand since I was a kid. Really? Man. Nah, shit happens. Usually, I don't, I don't cut myself a lot. I burn myself a ton. I don't know what that's about. But I don't cut myself very often. And when I do, <laughs> I don't cut myself very often. But when I do, uh, it's always a serrated knife. For some reason, me and serrated knives just don't get along. It's taken a chunk out of my pinkies multiple times. They have like a tendency to just kind of like slip more than a normal knife and just they take me out. Um, I sure wish that he could heal other people, but I haven't punched this one. I slept on the stairs into the splits and had bruises all over my legs and missed gym class for four days. Ouch. Yeah, that would do it. Oh. You know what? It can, she can do it again and... Oh my god, it stacks. Guys, we just cracked the code. I hate using a serrated knife. The only time I use one is to cut bread. Yeah, yeah, that's usually... Uh, I've stopped using it to cut bagels. Bagels can fuck right off. Um, they're usually the main culprit. Oh, there went spider. Uh, I still use them sometimes for bread, yeah. But bread adjacent things, no more. Oh man, I was really hoping that would kill him. Oh man, Turt is not looking good. It's okay though, we're done here. It's actually as bad as I expected. Baguettes spe specif specifically? Wow, why did I struggle so hard with that word? Baguettes specifically. I love that she just runs around shanking every people. This is the best thing ever. Oh, not me. Oh, not Turt either. Let's just clear up all those. Pesky status ailments. God, it really sucks having that worm shit on my hand. Not having an extra IP is, like, detrimental. Um, we're gonna plant a tentacle, too. I don't think I can take all these on on my own. <clears throat> Damn, now I want some bread. I feel you. A baguette sounds nice. I was actually craving, like, a, you know, um, burgers, but with, like, brioche buns. I was craving one of those really bad the other day, and there's no, there's no gluten-free option for that at all. Which sucks. No brioche buns for me. I like how they have to turn into wheels to do an attack. If you guys had a, uh, to choose a particular kind of bread to be your favorite, what bread would it be? Good God, the poison. The poison on me. Oh, turt. Let's go for this one. Well, F. Um, let's have you punch the small one. Ah, I should have had him punch the big one. <laughs> oh, no more tentacle. 
I instinctively wanted to say potato bread, but I think I need to give it more thought. Oh, I'm talking like, I guess potato bread would count, but I think if I had to choose ciabattas, ciabattas are my favorite. And man, I just realized how sad this conversation is going to make me. <laughs> I love ciabattas. Um... Hell yeah, ciabatta squad. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. I don't know what it is. It's something about like, it's lighter, fluffier, but also like crispy on this. I don't know. It's just a good texture. Brioche. Brioche is a good option too. Ah, brioche burger buns might be my favorite. Can, if we go through, can we go through all these other holes and end up in different worm rooms? Oh, yep. Stench armor, huh? What was this before? Oh, my monster sash. Oh, we gotta crawl. We gotta be tiny. Ooh, yeah, croissant. Yeah, that counts. Uh, they're great sandwich bread because the outside is a bit thicker and solid. Yeah. It, if so, then I'm going croissant. Yeah, no, croissant totally counts. Croissant. I have not had a croissant. God, probably in like a decade, I feel like. It's been, it's been a while. What's going on? What's with all these piles of pebbles? Oh god, it's the big worm. Oh. Worm gear. Oh, we got the worm gear. Hold on, I'm gonna go stick it in that machine. What if I don't even want to fuck with the giant worm? I can't get around these rocks. I file them in the pastry category? Oh. I hadn't considered that. Nah, I think it counts. You can have a sandwich on a croissant. Not sure if I can choose a favorite bread. Shabbat is good, but also, oh, pretzel bread. A good baguette is amazing. Ah, uh, it's true. All right, let's install the part. What does it do? Busily producing low frequency thumps. You know what? If I am to take on the big worm, I'm not doing it with nasty ass hands. Where was the house? Big Moist, I think. We're just gonna make a quick pit stop all the way back to Dothan House. Oh, fine, I'll fight some vampire bats first. <laughs> Tiny baby was <boys>. croissant. <laughs> I'm so glad that you uh, are on the same page as me. I don't think I can think of the word croissant without thinking about that anymore. Is anybody else's head just like a, a garbage dump it meme dumping ground? Like people will say things in normal conversation and all your brain will do is produce memes and you're like, I can't say that in public. Why, brain, please. Literally me every time. Apparently whether or not croissant is bread is quite the debate. Oh, really? Oh, I did not know. All the time. Thank God it's not just me. I think it might be most millennials, to be fair. Uh, I think it's it's a millennial problem, but anybody that's been on the internet too long probably qualifies. Actually, now the, the more that I think about it. Air, you just entered into a hot debate. How do you feel about that? <laughs> the bathroom is over here. I have to have sourdough toast with all on top knot. Oh my god, that sounds amazing! <laughs> Stop, I almost dropped my croissant! Because <laughs> uh, it's ingredients and baking technique, make it a pastry, obviously it's used as bread. Mmm. A category like a sandwich. Why not both? Why can't it be both? 
It's laminated dough, same as phyllo. Phyllo. All right. Oh, I guess the machine. Oh, god damn it. Can I? I kind of want to fight it though. Can I? Fuck. God damn it. Can I turn the machine off again? It's probably just stuck on. I'm gonna just quietly eat this bread, dodging strays. Just don't get involved. Well, shit. Well, I took care of it. I dealt with the worms. Nice. Help yourself to the fertilizer down there if you didn't already. Here, let me throw in a little bonus. We experimented with preserving cherries in jars, but nobody bought them. Probably because nobody wanted five gallons of them all at once. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, for the speakeasy. Huh, maraschino cherries? We named them after the cat. Yes, good, good. Thanks. Um, I know this is a little weird. Uh, we got through this whole deal without referring to the cherry orchard by Antov Chekhov. I guess you're right. I never read it though. Yeah, me neither. Can I buy some cherries? It's not cherry season. When's cherry season? Who's to say? What season is it now even? I think can canonically October? Definitely not cherry season then. All right, fine. We're taking these straight, straight to the speakeasy. And then I'm gonna wash my hands again. God, I feel like a germaphobe, but this shit's gross. Um, I don't suppose there's any other place that has a bathroom. That's still not open. Oh, Molly has something she wants to say. Oh! She thought of uh, a way to save her friend. Of course, Madeline's. Madeline who? Madeline what? Maddie used to be an expert jailbreaker, but she's retired and went legit. Now she just runs a little shop where she sells cakes with files in them. Okay, well she didn't exactly go legit. Anyway, I gotta go bake a cake for Nancy. Uh, okay, I'll wait here. <laughs> uh, actually, can I borrow some, some meat? How much? Just a D stack? A thousand meat for a cake with a file in it? Full package isn't just one file. It's a file, a drill, a crowbar, lockpicks, weapons, maps. Plus, Madeline's cake is really good. Don't you have any money? Spent all my meat on fancy shoes and bullets. And fancy bullets. Oh, jeez. Come on, Leroy, it's important. Nancy won't survive a transfer to Bridgewater. They'll break her. They'll pump her full of drugs and lock her in a padded closet without even a number on the door. And just leave her there. I wonder if we get this woman free, if we could get her to open the bank vault for us. All right, here. Thanks, Buck. You're a real punch. Peach. Wow. Peach. <laughs> Peach. Punch isn't even close. Uh, I knew I could count on you. I'll pay you back, I promise. Yeah, yeah, go buy your cake before I change my mind. A little funny that Maddie's shop does so well, despite it... Peep, not Despite most people not needing to bust anyone out of the joint. I guess they just like cake that much. They probably eat around the file. Madeline recognizes you when you enter. The two of you gossip about mob news and mutual acquaintances for a minute before... You get down to business and order the Alcatraz special. Gotta love the Alcatraz special. Normally it takes a couple days to set these up, but fortunately Maddie had one ready to go. Turns out L Lenny Knucklebones got parole, so his order was canceled last minute. You hand over Leroy's meat and stagger out of the shop carrying the world's heaviest and most comprehensively tool-filled cake. Wow, that is big. Where am I gonna take this? Did you get the cake? Absolutely. See? Good lord, it's huge. It's heavy, too. The sooner we deliver this, the better. Uh, I mean, that was true anyway. Where's Nancy now? Charleston State Prison. I uh, don't actually know how to get there from here, but when you find it, don't forget to take me with you. Right, got it. Okay. That cake. That thick, thick cake. 
Um, okay, we gotta go find, <laughs> we gotta find a place to wash our hands. You know, I wonder if, like, oh, no, maybe Zimmer's house, regular house might? One of these houses, oh, great, cool, just, just broke my rib, broke my little rib. One of these houses I feel like had a bathroom. I don't want to have to go all the way back. Just a, just a sketchy basement. As long as I have a decent bakery near me, I'm too lazy to make things like croissants and macaroons. I feel that. I, I wouldn't even know how to bake one, honestly. <clears throat> Fine, we'll just go back to where we know there's a working sink. Taught that man how to read a compass three times now. You'd think he'd remember. Oh, nice. And I fucks, fixed my broken rib. Yeah, okay. Apparently, washing your hands fixes broken ribs, too. I'll take it. Why not? Uh, okay. Let's go back. Great country. And... We did the orchard. We have Old Ham Mill and the homestead that I can't pronounce. So, let's go to the homestead. You find an abandoned truck parked on the side of the road... Uh, with its hood open. It's old it, it's old peeling bumper sticker says I'd rather be fishing. Under that someone's written screw it I'm going fishing. Most of the un engine is gone plus the doors and the entire glove box but somebody somehow there's still a two box in the back. I'll take that. I don't know why we all just collectively agreed to fuck that car over but I've cured many a broken rib with a good old hand washing. Man. You guys must have better water than I do. Nothing left of this house but charcoal and foundation. Start a cosmetics company. Sadly, it's not that kind of foundation. Bummer. Old insurance letter. Wait. Oh. Um. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Oh my god. Yellowed envelope from an insurance company. Based on your previous experiences, you expect this to be exactly as confusing as it is boring. You are not wrong. Can't open the letter because you don't have a letter opener. Oh. Where are we gonna find a letter opener? Farmer pants? Wow. Managed to jimmy the lock open, unfortunately, destroying the coat hanger in the process. That's fine. Am I gonna get hit by lightning? The door on the trailer says property of Hecko Oil Conglomerate. Keep out. What do we got? Engagement ring. Pocket of the blazer, there's a ring. I guess this gag doesn't go as deep as you hoped it would. I should have read that whole thing. Now I regret it. A log book. A uh, logbook is full of meticulous records written in meticulous handwriting. The whole scene is so meticulous that meticulous doesn't even seem like a word anymore. You are correct. Oh boy, it's my first day as a drilling site supervisor and I can't wait to prove myself. I'm going to work hard to establish myself as a real up-and-comer and then once my career is secure, maybe I'll have the confidence to pop the question to Clara. You know, the marriage question. Anyway, the crew has... The Derek set up, and we're turning the, the drill on tomorrow morning. Seems like the former owners of the house have cleared out already. They yelled a lot of angry-sounding foreign words at us yesterday, but they were gone when I got here this morning. I feel kind of bad, but that's progress. So we started drilling. So, so anyway, I started drilling. Sorry. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> so anyway, we started drilling and hit a big air pocket near the surface. It's hit the right word? Can you hit air? Anyway, it's probably just a random little cave. We lowered a couple guys down with lamps to check it out. In unrelated news, I heard a big explosion from just west of here. I checked the maps and whatever's over there, it's not a Helco facility. I guess I'll have to read about it in the paper tomorrow. Gladly buy candy. Good night's sleep. That's what cures a broken spine. Man, I wish. Oh, speaking of broken spines. 
yesterday. This is so stupid. This is this is maybe the speaking of injuries. This might be the stupidest one I've ever I've ever had happen. Uh, when people say lift with your knees, they aren't fucking around. They are not. They're not kidding when they say lift with your knees, not your back. And I'm sure everyone here knows that, but me. Uh, I was lifting a heavy box yesterday and hurt my back again. Same as last time. At least this time, there was like a cause to it, right? This heavy ass box. Um, really disappointed in myself though. At least I know what helped it last time. So I know what can help it no, this time. God. And like, it's already like 90% better. No, God, Day please, one, right? No, no. I want you guys to guess. No. I want you to guess what was in the heavy no. box. <laughs> Air, thank you for the sound minis. Can't hear them, but I hear them in my soul. I just, I want, I want you guys to guess what was in the box that hurt my back. I would kill someone with a bowling pin for a milkshake? Yeah, absolutely. Books? No, actually, surprisingly, not books. That's a good guess, though. No, it was magic cards. It was fucking a box of magic cards. I hurt myself on a box of magic cards. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, turns out the cave we drilled into is an old gold mine. A box of styrofoam peanuts. Now, wouldn't that be something? How big would that box have to be to be the, the weight that I lifted yesterday? One pound box of magic. No, it was like a box of boxes. It, there's like, you know, like the fat packs. There's probably like 12 of them in the box. That might be an overestimation. Uh, there's a lot of fat packs in the box and they're all filled with cards. The box is like, even Boggs was like, yeah, this is heavy. Why did you do this? So, it's my bad. Gotta know your limits. Uh, my wife tried to move our mattress by using her back and we ended up with a compression fracture on her L3. Do not lift with your back. Yeah, yes, correct. I hope your wife is better now. Just tell her to take a bath. Apparently, you know, washing your face fixes things like that. <laughs> I broke my little toe while walking out of the bathroom, stubbed it on the door. Oof, that's like my worst nightmare. My mom did that when I was in high school. She stubbed her toe on like a, not like a barbell, but like a hand weight on the floor. Uh, and it was like jutting out at like a 90 degree angle. And like, I watched them set it back into place at the hospital. And ever since that's been like a new fear unlocked for me. Like I'm like protecting my pinky toes for all they're worth. My boyfriend just said, and I quote, I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> uh, no, I was not drunk. I was drunk. Well, I mean, that's a better excuse then. In reference to the magic cards? Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, I'll never financially recover from the amount of magic I have. No, you are correct. And from my back being hurt by the magic. Uh, turns out the cave we drilled into is an old gold mine. Go figure. When we struck oil, it would be a black gold mine. Ha ha. Uh, I should write that down. Uh, oh, wait, I just did. <laughs> Anyways, I can't find any record of it in the geological survey. And we just can't find the entrance either. I guess it must have caved in years ago. I set the crew to digging a proper shaft down. They're starting in the root cellar of the house because it's slightly lower on the ground level and they get paid by the hour, not the foot. One of the crewmen is trying to get a closer look at some of the magazines he found hidden in the attic of the house and the carbine lamp on his helmet started a fire which torched the whole place. Nobody was hurt, fortunately, but uh, Mark on my record that would have been after the fire went out we cleared a path down to the shaft and put a trap door over it to keep the ashes and rubble out of the mine new orders from the top baron hellstorm wants us to reconnoiter the mine i guess that makes sense if there's any gold left in there then hey free gold but every time someone goes exploring from the ladder they come back pale and sickly looking and freaked out by what they see when they see the sun. Oh no, it's making vampires. <laughs> you just can't find good help these days. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Can't wait. I can't wait till Monday though. Had a really nice weekend. Super relaxing. I really needed that. Went on a date with Clara and we had a great time. I think she was hinting about getting married too. Ah, oh, geez. What am I thinking? This is just a company log look, not my diary. <laughs> Time to see what's in the old mine. 
Back from the mine, it wasn't so bad down there. I don't get what why the crewmen acted so weird. It's nice and dark down there. Not all bright uh, like it is up here all the time. It's really giving me a headache, to be honest. Made some friends down there, too. Great guys. They really understand me. I think I'll knock off early and go see if Clara's home. I just can't get her rosy pink chinks out of my mind. Oh, he ate Clara. He fucking ate Clara. How much glowing ooze do I have? Three globules. Another globule it is. These bombs are gonna save my ass one day. Eat Randy, eat Randy, eat Randy, eat Randy, eat Randy. Luckily not in debt, I'm just broke. Good. Don't ever get in debt, it sucks. Student loans, I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, your passion is fashion. The debt is just an unfortunate side effect. Oh, that's true. My vice is fashion, specifically the Lolita style. I, that could be just as dangerous as magic cards, honestly. If I had a dollar for every time I ate Clara. <laughs> what? You eating Clara on the regular, slowly? Wreck anointer. Wreck anointer? Watch the mine. Do research on it. Oh, longer version of recon. I did not know that. All right, found the trap door. Clear away some burned rubble and fallen masonry. That, uh, and sure enough, there's a trap door that used to be the floor of a root cellar. It's open to reveal a ladder leading down into the darkness. Let's go beat up some vampires. Ew. This part of the wall is both spooky and moist? Why? Nice, got a pickaxe. Wow, Jesus. You're frying as much of the ore as you can with your bare hands. Uh, hi. It has been many years since a human interloper has invaded our home. How novel. Huh, yeah, that's me. Uh, novel, I mean, not the invader part. Perhaps if you please us, we will permit you to join our family and live he down here in luxury forever. Luxury? Living in an abandoned mine? Uh, he gestures to the rear part of the tunnel. It's actually pretty nice back there. Oh, huh. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to politely decline and beat the shit out of you guys. Nasty claws. Oh god, I hate the way they run. They took a big chunk out of turret too. Turret. Air, thank you for the eat randy bits. Man, I wish I would have heard those. Um I'm gonna summon a cheese man, literally just so they have something else to hit. All right. I think I'm gonna stab this one. It's always a tough choice. My vice is expensive whiskey, so I don't even have anything to show for it. Ah, uh, consumable vices always suck. However, I guess you get like a nice, a nice whiskey experience out of it, right? Nope, got wrecked by status effects. Don't suck my blood. Man, I am so disappointed in myself for not using that sooner. Oof, duh. I guess 
guess if I had to uh, decide what my voice, my vice is, I would have to just say my vice is stories. Because I have too many vices. Like, I like video games. And I like books. And, uh, I guess Magic the Gathering isn't really stories. That's more board games. Board games can have stories, though. Don't they see me floating? Don't they know I am Dracula? Oh, yeah, it's actually not bad down here. Oh! Who is this gentleman that looks a lot like me? Hmm. A uh, fancy mail order catalog sitting atop a fancy mahogany end table. Grab it fancily. Hell yeah. Trying to be deep stories. Listen, I'm just trying to justify the fact that I have multiple vices, okay? I, I can't pick just one. A surprisingly undesanguated bla uh, guy back here. Hello? Salutations! I'm Creosis Vanderbilt. You may have heard of me. I'm the richest hobo in the world. What? Buddy. That doesn't seem like a hard bar to clear. I'm claiming the title regardless, and you are? Oh, I'm Leroy Jenkins, nice to meet you. I am indebted to you for getting rid of those vampires, Leroy. I've been hiding back here for weeks. I was obliged to eat my cravat for nourishment. Okay. You got any hobo code? Fuck yeah. Mostly financial jargon, but you never know what might come in handy. Why are you here, buddy? Ah, well, it isn't a vampire mine, you see. It's a gold mine. I found... The other end of the ore vein in a small cave a short distance away and tunneled my way here. Unfortunately, the point at which I broke into this unoccupied section was the same point at which the tunnel collapsed behind me. Ah, oh, shit. That sucks. Indeed, it was all I could do to remain hidden in these rocks, praying that the creatures of the night would leave at some point and I could make my escape. I've seen things that would haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. That's awful. What about this hobo camp, though? There's a hobo camp just outside Ocean City, and they sure could use some help wealth-wise if you don't mind sharing. Ah, wonderful. Creosius Vanderbilt, hobo philanthropist. Has an exciting ring to it. I shall head there directly. Nice. Cool. Um, I'm gonna head here. Nice. We harass the lightning. Uh, a dozen eyes wink and two mouths make kisses at you from within the squirming copulate blob of crude oil. This is a very rude blob and it likely only feels comfortable in being so because it's protected by a circle of electrified shale spires that spark with lightning. Anything can attract lightning uh, if it's the tallest point in the area. Drawing upon your deep command of the arcane, you jump up and make a steeple above you, above your head with your fingers. Mm. The lightning abandons the spires and nestles in your bones. Not feeling so big and strong anymore, the blob bows in, a, in apology and shuffles away. <laughs> Great. Cool. We will stop here. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. This will be interesting to, to come figure out. Um, the next stream is Wednesday, and I suppose it's going to be... Hmm, what time will it be now? 6 p.m. PST. So, it's an hour later, so 7 p.m. MST. 7 p.m., 7 p.m. And 1 p.m. There, I fixed the schedule. I fixed the schedule. Behold, Miro's field of fox. Notice how it is barren. It's so barren. I farmed my last fuck many years ago. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here with me for more uh, Shadows Over Loathing. I hope to see you again on Wednesday. It is currently 1 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll see you at 7 p.m. MST, Ben. Uh, streams are now an hour later because of daylight savings time. Uh, let's go ahead and do the credits. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Uh, let's see if there's anybody to raid today. Oops. I say as I close the tab to do so. <laughs> Nailed it. Let's see what we got. 
Baleko is playing Kings of the Castle. You know what? We're gonna do we're gonna do a cheeky. We're gonna do a baby raid. I'm coining that term right now. Uh, I need to go rest my back, so I'm not gonna be sitting at this computer. Um, but if you guys want to go support one of our, oops, that's gonna be bad. Shut up, Twitch. Uh, if you guys want to go support one of our lovely community members, Bleko, as he plays Kings of the Castle, please go do so. Please go hang out with him. Um, tell him hi. And uh, I'm going to go lay down somewhere. But thank you, thank you so much to Amprops for the resub. Happy 38 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Slowly, thank you for gifting a sub to Broken Princess. Broken Princess, welcome back to the superheroes. I will slowly. I'll say hi to Boggs for you. Uh, Drilly, thank you for the resub. Happy 22 months. Air, thank you for gifting a sub to Prize. Prize, welcome to the superheroes. Uh, slowly, thank you for the resub. Happy 40 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. And uh, thank you to everyone who did Sound Biddies and Brad Redeems. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I will see you all on Wednesday at 7 p.m. MST for more Shadows Over Loathing. Bye, guys.